Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the five best winter gloves according to our customers. Whether you love them or whether you hate them, if you're riding in winter, you're probably going to need a pair of warm gloves. Our guide to the best five options uses data from customer reviews to bring together the top contenders for your cash. So these are the best five overall, regardless of how much they'll cost you. If you're on a tighter budget, we've also prepared guides to the best gloves for £100 or less, and also the top options for 50 quid or less. Links to those guides will pop up at the end of this video, or you can find them in the description for this one. But if you're interested in the best of the best, then these are the top five picks according to our customers. As we record this, 14 people have bought a pair of Dainese Scout 2 Gore-Tex gloves from us and have left a review of them. And all 14 of those customers have given these gloves a perfect five-star score. So that makes them the strongest scorers of all the winter gloves on our site, with a string of complimentary reviews about these gloves being warm, waterproof, and comfortable. If there's anything in the reviews that you do need to be aware of, it's that riders describe the cuff as being long. So that's a good thing for a good overlap when they're worn inside your jacket, but it can make them tricky to get on, especially if you wear the cuffs on the outside of your jacket. Reviewers also say these are thick, proper winter gloves that take a little bit of time to break in and become flexible. The back of the hand on these gloves is textile, the palm is synthetic suede, and then there are leather reinforcements, as well as a hard plastic scaphoid protector. The restraining strap is also leather, and it's on the underside of the palm, where it's most effective at keeping the glove on your hand. You get the trusted Gore-Tex membrane for waterproofing, and there's also primal loft material in the thermal liner. There's a rubber blade on the left thumb to clear rain from your visor, and touchscreen compatible sections on the forefinger and the thumb. Like the vast majority of gloves, these are rated to the basic level one of the CE glove standard. As we record this, the list price for these gloves is £159.95. Now, the top gloves in this guide, those Dionysies that we've just covered, they've had 14 perfect five-star reviews out of 14, but these Risha Arctic Gore-Tex gloves aren't far behind at all. They've had 13 five-star ratings out of 13, so they're just one review behind the Dionysies. They come out very strongly in those customer reviews with riders saying they work well in low temperatures and that they also keep their hands dry when it's raining. The outer is made from a combination of textile and leather. Textile is mostly on the back of the hand and around the cuff with leather reinforcements on the back of the hand and also across the palm. You get additional panels of very tough super fabric on the outside of the little finger, the heel of the palm, and also on the cuff. There's hard knuckle armor as well, and that meets the requirements of the CE standard for impact protection. Overall, these gloves meet level one within CE. On the inside, they give a good balance of insulation without causing too much bulk, and that again is backed up by customer feedback, and there's the trustworthy Gore-Tex membrane to keep out rain. They close with a double closure with the wrist restraint on the back of the hand. There's a visor wiper blade on the left forefinger and touchscreen friendly panels on the forefingers and also on the thumbs. The Risha Arctic Gore-Tex gloves have a list price of £134.99 as we record this. Rucker's original Mars winter gloves soldiered on in their range for years and the sequel has done very well in its first few years. The Mars 2.0 has been well received by the first nine reviewers who all like the protection these gloves give against cold and rain, as well as the comfort. The most common criticism is of a relatively short cuff, which is more of a problem really for riders who want to wear their gloves over the top of the jacket. Eight of those first nine reviews has come with a five-star rating, the only star being deducted by a rider who didn't like the short cuff and felt the foam padding at the knuckles was a bit lacking. The CE rating for these gloves, which is level one KP, shows the gloves have passed the impact protection aspect of the test. And I'm not questioning that at all, but if this foam padding is protective enough to pass the test, then I would question whether those tests are as tough as they should be. The outer is made almost entirely from leather with just some textile between the fingers for flexibility. There's thermal insulation and the Gore-Tex waterproof membrane on the inside that make these a proper winter-friendly glove. There are additional layers of leather on the palm, there's the soft padding that we spoke about on the knuckles, and they have an overall CE rate into the basic level one. The list price for the Rucker Mars 2.0 as we record this is £159.99. Alpine Stars have had a Jet Road Gore-Tex glove in their range for absolute yonks, and the latest version's been popular with those who've bought a pair. 
Of the first eight customers to leave a review, seven of those people gave the maximum five stars. The only person who knocked off a star did it because the fit didn't suit his hands, not because there was necessarily anything wrong with the glove. They're made from a textile back hand and wrist section with goatskin leather for the palm and then reinforcements in the key areas. There's a double restraint at the wrist and the cuff with that wrist restraint being a sort of novel flap-like design that wraps around here near the thumb. As the title suggests, there's a Gore-Tex membrane and the thermal lining is primer loft. That's a material that insulates well, even if it gets wet. Owners praise the weather protection, but there's no dedicated wipe for a rain-soaked visor. There's a bridge connecting the third and fourth fingers, which is unusual on winter gloves. There's hard knuckle armor, and there are touchscreen compatible panels on the forefingers and the thumbs. Like all the gloves in this video, these are rated to the basic level one of CE, including that knuckle protection. The list price for these gloves is £179.99 as we record this. Now, feedback from customer reviews for these gloves suggests the title Ice Polar might build these gloves up a little bit in the sense of how warm they'll keep your hands. They aren't the thickest winter gloves and they're most popular with riders who either have heated grips or leave their bike at home when it gets really cold. This, even the swing tag for these gloves, which shows the Thinsulate warm rating, puts them in the middle of Thinsulate's three brackets, which backs up the reviewers feeling that they don't and they're not meant to offer the highest levels of insulation. But there is still a lot of demand for a winter glove that offers good dexterity and will protect against what you might call normal levels of cold and rain which is what these provide. They've earned 21 five-star awards from the first 27 owner reviewers, and that shows their popularity with riders who don't expect the deepest of winter protection. They're made mostly from textile with leather reinforcements, the respected Gore-Tex waterproof membrane on the inside, and there's a rubber visor wipe on the left forefinger. They're the only gloves in this video that don't have touchscreen enabled fingertips. The Risha Ice Polar gloves, as we record this, have a list price of £99.99, .99, which makes them the cheapest pair of gloves in this list. Okay, so these are the best rated winter gloves according to our customers as we head into winter 2022. Remember, we've got videos about winter gloves for 50 quid or less and also for £100 or less, and links to those will be popping up very soon. But I hope this has helped you narrow down your choices for keeping your hands warm this winter, but if you have anything to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.